So back to what I was saying <laughs> All right, so we can probably go on for days with the music career stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I want to bring it a little current. So you're doing yet another transition. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to speak very slowly and intentionally <laughs> so Johnny doesn't have too much of an issue where editing is concerned. <laughs> So that in case I do stumble upon saying things I shouldn't say, huh? he can go ahead and take them out quite easily. I'm not editing. So, I'm just going to use the beat button. So on this. No, <laughs> no NDAs have been signed. So you just look at me crazy when you can't answer the question. So yeah. you are you are. So you're transitioning now into the tech field. Now, between now and then, what a lot of people don't know is that you're actually a very talented photographer. Uh huh. You got into photography for a while. Yeah. Now, was that just a serious hobby or was that a consideration of I might go down this path? My dad was I'm, I'm talented in that and I need to make some money. Mm -hmm. you know? Straight up. My dad was a photographer. <laughs> use also. it or lose it kind of do. Yeah. Mm. Like that's what church say. Yeah. If you don't use your gifts. <laughs> hey, yeah, got to take it back. I mean? That's why I got my little massage hustle. Mm. See? Yeah, massage hustle. All right, so can I pause for a second? Mm. That's it. Is a how, pause. Come a, how come a brother... Can't have something like that and not get the weird looks in the comments. It's just different, man. No, it's How's it different? No, it's How's it stone. different? It's Question: you. Have you ever gotten the massage in life? Yes. Yeah, of course. Have you ever looked at the, the massage therapist and be like, "Hmm, this is just different." Stone, we know you. <laughs> so it's just because it's me. We it's know, weird. Yeah, we know. Is you. that where we're getting at? Yes. Is that where we're getting at? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> screw Pretty you much. and yeah. screw you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he can be talented in photography, but I can't be talented with massage therapy. I don't know. That, if you I be think that's racist. Than, uh, <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, I I'm am, and, I'm not, and, I'm, and I make money. Thank you very I'm, much. Hey, man, I'm just glad I'm not on this branch by myself because he's been trying to make me feel crazy for. Thinking that I don't crazy. understand why that's crazy though. If I was like, "Oh, I cook," y'all would be like, "Oh, that's dope, so Yeah. Hmm. But let a brother legit, legit I, be besides everybody. Like, he's like, "What?" I rub okay, let's, let's, yeah, let's yeah, move yeah. on. Exactly. Let's, let's, let's move break on. Down, let's break down <laughs> cooking. I make food for your nourishment. Huh. Or I ask you to take your clothes off so I can. Well, you know on. that's because you're shallow minded. And you don't. Under, you don't understand. <laughs> you don't under, the thing, then bro. that just means you don't understand massage therapy. Oh, I do though. Uh, well, okay. apparently you don't, and you're just not attributing it to me. I'm not. But this is not about me. This is nah, about this Kendrick Wild Cardine right, right now. Let's get it. So you was making money photography and all this yeah, kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, right yeah. So, so how did that come about? <laughs> um, like I said, my dad was a photographer among us. So, so I get this. You know, we talk about Caribbean people and having so many jobs. Yeah, 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 man. I so, got a job. <laughs> <laughs> so I get that because my parents are from the awesome. islands. Yeah. So, you know, my dad was an educator, a pastor, a photographer, you know, a dad and everything else, right? So massage therapist. No, he was okay. massage therapist. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Nah. Anyway, so so me getting into photography was act actually a natural transition. Mm -hmm. Um I, a lot of people don't know. Uh I'm also a visual artist. Like I I was the thing that I was doing most as a hobby as a kid was drawing. Yeah. Like I would take all of all the copy paper, white paper, because I wanted that paper to draw on. So I don't want no lines. The good the paper. Yeah, that good paper. <laughs> and so, um, you know, photography and, and, and visual art mm. and style and all that stuff was was very attractive to me, mm. right? And um, I had a couple of friends that were photographers, in particular, they were wedding photographers. And I was like, oh, man, that's dope. And they were like, yeah, you know, wedding is a lot, but you, you know, you can make a good living off of it. And plus, you know, I just love capturing moments, too. Mm -hmm. So even before that, in the studio, I would be the one like taking little candid shots, pictures or whatever. And I'm always even like, was let me take a picture. Was sleep cam you? Was that you? No, nah, I was a sleep cam. Okay. I, was, I didn't <laughs> have that idea. I wasn't trying to catch people in embarrassing moments. Right, right, right. I just wanted to capture the essence of the time. Right. right? I remember I saw a couple go up and I was like, I was like, Kendrick's actually like good. Yeah. Like for real. Yeah. Joey L, um, Annie Leibovitz, um, the, uh, Joel Grimes, those are some of my influences. Right. Uh, Anzel Adams, um, I can keep running. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I, whatever I take on, I really study. Yeah, I have yeah. that level of respect for anything I take on um, to master it. Yeah, do your thing right here because that's another thing. Like, people will run into a talent, and they. It's, so, the it's the issue I had and last night. We talked night about it. The, that yes. there, and and to let me know if this is where you're going. Mm -hmm. That there is a difference between talent and skill. Yes. Right? Because talent will get you in the door, mm -hmm. but skill keeps you there and keeps you elevated. Absolutely. Because yeah. talent only gets you, but so and far. And building on a skill. Again, that's what came up with me last night with the versus battle. Yeah. I mean, because again, as a mix engineer, a live mix engineer, I had an issue with it primarily because I could tell that whoever was mixing it, 
did not do that. Uh, they did not study the craft. They couldn't name other future uh, past engineers who'd done what they were doing. They were just there and they were moving faders and pushing buttons. Yeah. And that's the disrespect that I think people run themselves out of something mm-hmm. that can be potentially lucrative and mm-hmm. fulfilling because they don't take it as serious as that. So I, I don't, I don't mean to stop it down on that, but I think mm-hmm. that's one of those important things that we stone talks about it all the time when people are trying to follow a dream or chase it. They think that it's just because you do it, that it's enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm glad you paused there because even following, you don't follow and chase dreams. You become them. Mm. We can go somewhere else here. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. Let's do yeah, that. Yeah. I love that correction. So, mm-hmm. so not be. We have this idea of you know I got a dream, I'm gonna chase it. But you, it, okay, let's go spiritual. Mm-hmm. The world was created before it was created. Mm-hmm. Whatever is created has already been created. Mm-hmm. That's how God created the world, mm-hmm. right? Through mind, through mm-hmm. thought, and so you don't need to chase anything. You just need to embody the feeling and the being of one that has what you desire. Yep. If you have that, everything you desire will come to you. Yep. Now, here's the key. It may not look like, cause God ain't no magic magician like that. Just voila, I'm just going to give it to you. Bloop. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's always a test. How much work are you willing to put in? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, how 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 different can it look than what you imagine? How how far are you gonna move mm-hmm. even for this to happen? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What what things that you said you wouldn't accept or were on your checklist that you wouldn't let go of? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those types of things that you're tested, right? But literally, you don't chase nothing. You become and you and you match it to where it is like you can't desire anything that you don't you're not willing to know what that thing desires. I, <laughs> yes. Say that one more. Give yeah. One, so, one, one more so, time. so you can't desire anything, anyone, any job without being willing and ready and able to know what that thing desires and requires. Thank you. I was going to say, I heard it too. And I always add that word required. Yep. yep. Desires and requires. Yep. Yep. So, so it, it, it's, it's, the, it's life, man. It's the basic rules, but a lot of us don't know basic. Yeah. We just know what feels good or we want what feels good. Man. You gotta go ahead. No, no, no. no said, you done did like, you done did like five you're, podcast you're, episodes you're, yeah. in like two Amen. seconds. Yeah. That's all I'm doing. You keep going. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. You got, you, we, we got to get from the basic, man. Like, but it is so simple, though. We can't get complicated, but we need to move from the basic into more something simple, mm-hmm. right? So um, that's that's how I believe. I don't believe that you chase any dream per se. You run after anything. You know, everybody is with this 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 new age way of words. Or I'm looking to find my purpose. Or how do I find my purpose? It just become be. it. Do what I, you do. Yeah, yeah, do what you do. do, what like, you do. Your yeah. gifts, your gifts will make room for you. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's I honestly believe. And when I was studying this verse, I truly sat down and really, and I went did the whole etymology of the words goodness and mercy and stuff. The whole chasing your dream. The reason why that's backwards, because mm-hmm. in this real famous book, right, it says goodness and mercy follow you mm-hmm. all the days of your life, right? Yeah. And if you do the etymology of goodness and you do the etymology of what mercy is, uh-huh. like a rhythm, if you put them together, you get blessing. Mm. So blessings follow you, yep. right? So you have to be going somewhere. You be and going that's somewhere. why you sit there, man, I'll never get blessed. Guess what? You <laughs> ain't doing still. nothing and you ain't going nowhere. Yeah, we could we could move this in man, all other directions. It's about, about to be another like, two part. Like people what like <laughs> like men want wives, wives want or girl guys want a wife. Women want a, a husband, but if you're not becoming or or a husband material, wife material, mm-hmm. you're, not, thing, you're not, not getting that. Yeah. You're not getting you can, it. You can't. It, it's, it, yeah, there is a degree, and, and a lot of people like. I can tell you this. It's really hard to become that when you already are that. As someone, I got married at 23. Mm. Um, me and my wife knew we were going to be together, but were we both prepared to be husband and wife? Yeah, not right. even close. So that was obviously the you get got to. stuck in the learn as you go we, scenario. We were learning how yeah. to do that, and I mean, and still, like, and I was yeah. gonna say, but you know what? Yeah. Does anyone, yeah, know how to be a husband or wife to that husband or wife? No, you don't. No, it's always a learn as you go scenario. Mm-hmm. And, and and in the becoming, there's a other component to what we're talking about manifestation. That is allowing, letting mm-hmm. go. Because we can't, we have like these these uh, presuppositions, these pre notions going into situations, and we have these expectations, and oh, we want oh. them to be a certain way. 
And that's not how it works. Yeah, no it's about no let, releasing. Mm. You make stay with stay what you want. Yeah. Right. Be mm-hmm. live in it. Be, be be in it and then let go. Let go. And I tell people all the time, Johnny has heard me say this. Yeah. The number one issue with why it seems like you don't get your prayer answered mm-hmm. is because while you're praying it, in your mind, you're playing out how God is supposed to get it to sure. your board. I won't even say God's supposed to get it to you, how it's supposed to come to you yep. and how he's going to allow it to happen. Yep. And when it doesn't happen that way, yep. one, like you just said, yep. you're not going to recognize it. Right. Mm-hmm. And then two, you get disappointed and be like, oh, prayer don't work. Right. God ain't real. Right. All this kind of stuff. Because right. you already set up how he's going to be answering it. And right. it say it. Yeah. Yeah. Confess it. And, yeah. and, when you, and when you're talking about. Uh, you didn't say the word claim it. I forgot what you said. You said speak it or something along those lines. Mm-hmm. I forgot the word you said. But it's important, though, that we don't get that mixed up with just thinking positive. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> thinking positive right. says, I'm going to be. Mm-hmm. I will. I'll have. This is going to, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh, gosh, I'm not going to get deep on this. No, do it. But stop. there's a reason why the two words I am mm-hmm. are what they are, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. One on a spiritual level, mm-hmm. I am means it's it's existed already. You're just walking into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Second, literally how the brain works. The brain connects with the affirmative, with the now, with the positive. Sure. It literally can't connect with the negative. Sure. So you can't walk around. We talked about this, right? You can't walk around like, oh, I'm not sick. Brain doesn't recognize that. Yeah. yeah. I am healthy. Right. Recognize brain looks at your body. We're positive. Uh, we're not healthy. What are we doing wrong? I don't know, but we're supposed to be healthy. healthy. Yep. So the cells and everything now starts doing what they're supposed yep. to be doing to line up with what you said. So yep. the key is I am. Not yeah. I will be, not no. I was, not I'm not. I'm not I yep. am. Yep. Facts. Man, you done took us there, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Off the top, my cash app is. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing that, that was in there that I, it's, it's not a hard fork, but I want to touch on it because it, it's a reason why a lot of people hit that prayer doesn't work thing because mm-hmm. they yeah. look at it as a failure. I've been in your presence a couple times mm-hmm. uh, and when we've met before, but mm-hmm. um, you know, it's, I, I never expect somebody to remember me, mm-hmm. but each one of those times I've been in your presence, you have said something that stuck with me. And the very first time I was around you, you were talking about, you were the first person I ever heard say fail forward. Mm-hmm. I had never heard anybody uh-huh. actually say it. It was a concept that I talked about, but like sure. say it the way you said it. Yeah. And that's one thing that people stop doing is that when they look at it as oh, prayer doesn't work or oh, manifestation doesn't work. Yeah. They look at it as a failure instead of failing into not knowing what they're supposed to be seeing and just Mm. staying the course, Mm. staying fixated on everything that you just said, believing, internalizing, absorbing Mm. and allowing. And then if it stops, if it fails, you push forward Mm -hmm. because you're certain that that's what you set your mind to. That manifestation is on its way there. And I see that so many times. I mean, I've I've been guilty of it. Mm -hmm. I've, I've stopped in that same exact moment, saying, man, it doesn't work like this. It right. doesn't work. You, you know how much of a realist I can be. For sure. <laughs> almost, I heard, I heard. Sure. almost, yeah. pes- what? almost right. pessimistic sometimes. Not no almost. <laughs> <laughs> almost. But I mean, it's... It, he it's, quite literally berated me for being so positive. Wow. <laughs> you, yeah. could be, you could be borderline just being positive. Oh, what yeah. what, what is balance. that you don't drink? What's the drink you don't drink? I don't drink hopium. Hopium. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't do hopium. That's another <laughs> so so there, there's, a, there's an element of trust. Or of really, it's back to allowing and letting it go, right? You were talking about failing forward and people not necessarily either willing to fail or they don't like the concept of failing. If they, they fail, they like God ain't real or whatever. Mm-hmm. What God requires is trust. Mm-hmm. What taking you from here to there requires is trust. Mm-hmm. What growth requires is discomfort and trust. trust. Trust is not, you know, absent of um discomfort or uncertainty Mm -hmm. those things have to be in play for you to have trust it's like Mm -hmm. courage Mm -hmm. you know what i mean um you have to have fear to have courage in place right Mm -hmm. so that whole idea of having trust is very important and a lot of people in general (laughs) uh, that's the new slogan right in general (laughs) right (laughs) um they lack trust because we're in such a microwave society and these things real fast you know uh, I, I talk a lot about like relationships and and now obviously music and tech and all that stuff. But we're in the micro society. We want it to be this way. We want it to be that way. And and life doesn't work that way. Mm-hmm. Things it it moves like that. You see you seen the um the, the picture of what success looks like. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people think, oh no, well because we're so caught up in what we see. Um, you know, in in today's world where where people just show their highlights. Mm-hmm. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? And really, I'm honestly, the best moments are in the, 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 the actual 
work yeah, man, process. But, that, but that's embarrassing, though, Kendrick. I don't, like, don't want to be embarrassed, man. Like, I, I can't know. be looking like that so, in front of the people. What's your, what's your name going to be? John, that's John. Me. Yeah. John. But John, listen, I, I, I hear you. You know, I hear you saying it's embarrassing, but think about it this way. Has there anything? Has there been anything that's worth having that's not worth worth work, working for? I mean, sure, yeah, but I mean, still, if I go out there and I fall down and it doesn't come through, then, mm-hmm. then how do I recover from it? So that? let me ask you this, John: When you look in the mirror, what do you tell yourself? Oh, I tell myself all of the lies. <laughs> really? <laughs> I tell myself I am somebody. I believe I am going to have this. Ooh, all um, the lies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, well, I, I broke because that, that's what we do. We tell uh-huh. ourselves all of the lies, mm-hmm. but just, do we do we internalize those lies? And that's so, what I'm saying. That person, John, right here. Yeah. I, he tells himself all of those things, bro. Yeah. Think he John he am somebody, but he doesn't believe it. Exactly. You're doing more mm-hmm. damage than that. Mm-hmm. So, so you gotta you gotta go with what you know. So the thing about it too is we all have to evolve to our highest or be continue to evolve to our highest self. Yep. Right? Like I haven't been here all my life and you know this is this is not where I'm stopping, you know, in terms of my maturity, my spirituality, my ability to manifest and stuff like mm-hmm. that is a constant growth, but I am a constant work in progress, but I'm also a constant student of life. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Iota Phi Theta, Fraternity Incorporated. That's my fraternity. And my name What? Yeah. <laughs> My, 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 my frat name is Jinsei Manabi, which is a, it's Japanese, okay. means the student of life studies. Okay. And so I wear that like a badge of honor. Like life is lessons for me. I don't ever take anything for granted, even if it's quote unquote disappointment, failure. Mm-hmm. This is a lesson. I always say it's a lesson or a blessing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you look at it, I'm a glass half full kind of dude. Um, I, that's one of the first things that I tell a young lady if we're considering dating, like, listen, I'm optimistic positive glass half full the reason why is because i can't i can't mix it's like oil and water if someone else is not right you know what i mean right like i'm when i say we will go to the stars beyond the stars and the moon this will happen guess what it has happened already yep i i and it's 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 like people like this borderline cocky it's confident it's super confident yeah absolutely i have no doubt Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Even if things look bleak. Um, See, and that's where I get in trouble because oh, I'm just arrogant. <laughs> I, well, I'm told that I'm dismissive and that, and especially when it comes to things like um, low self-esteem, mm-hmm. when it comes to things, even like depression, because it's gotten me in trouble where depression is concerned. Yeah. I have such faith in the power of the human and of mm-hmm. the human mind. I have such faith in how powerful that is. Mm-hmm. It is hard for me to just accept that you're depressed, that mm-hmm. you're low self-esteem. Now, I, I'm educating myself though. Mm-hmm. I learn on the biological things. There are some things that go beyond you just having a strong mind, literally brain is firing just incorrectly and all this stuff. On those things, I'm like, okay, let's set you over here. But you, when you're like, oh, no, life is just this, and I don't feel like being here, and it's, woe is, it's a woe is me thing. It's not a chemical imbalance. It's a woe is me. I have a hard time being empathetic with that. And then I'm, I'm told I'm, I'm mean, and because Johnny will tell you, I'll just come off too direct, because I'll be like, mm-hmm. listen, it's just like you said before. It's easy. I mean, yeah. it's simple, but it's not easy. Mm-hmm. But you still have to make up the freaking mind yep. that you're going to do it. You know, my friends, Jeremy and Joe, we said it. To, like, Nike got it right. Yeah. They got it right. Just, just freaking do it. Yeah. So, so I, I'm similar to you. I'm, I, I'm very direct. Um, I, my philosophy is let's not waste any time. Mm. Let's, let's be clear. Tell me what you need, what you want. Tell me how that look, what that looks like to you. Mm. And I'll let you know if I can do that mm. or not. And you take that approach in music? I take that approach in everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but we, what I, I'm learning like you, I understand that most people aren't there. Right. Uh, even if it is a there, there. I was going to say thank you. That's not you know condescending. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's it, not like we're yeah. higher and that. Yeah. So I have, I've been, I've been ran into that the last two days, <laughs> literally. So you when we say not, when time. we say not there, we're not, yeah, we're not say saying someone's higher or lower. lower. We're nah. just not at the same point. Yeah, we're not at the same point. <laughs> we're not seeing eye to eye here right now. Oh, Kendrick, I love you, bro. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it, it, even if it's, if that's the case, what, what I'm having to understand and learn as well. Is that listen? Everybody's story is different. Mm-hmm. Everybody's path is different. And if every day was a sunny day, what would be a sunny day? So everybody's it's not meant to just yeah. get it 
or mm-hmm. to get it like you get it. And for me to be like, the way I got it is it. That's a little arrogant. Right, absolutely. You need yeah, yeah. me to be pessimistic, Stone Stafford. How would you <laughs> but know I said that. that. But I said, <laughs> I literally said that. <laughs> I, and we haven't recorded where no, I actually so said that. I, I need you. <laughs> I mean, and even in saying all of that, I'll wrap it up like this or like this segment like this. It's like, it's still very important to be sure of yourself. Mm-hmm. That That's the leadership quality. Um, and I'm, I'm blessed identify as that a leader Mm -hmm. being sure of myself um sometimes people may take that a different way we ain't worried about Mm -hmm. them we're not we're not thinking about that that's not the game we're playing because i go hard for the people i care about i love Mm -hmm. life is short you know what i mean and i'm sure about myself even if i'm not sure about the every decision but i know everything's gonna be okay Mm -hmm. and that's the part you have to understand is even if you're not sure let's say how dope you are Mm -hmm. doesn't mean you're not dope yeah. Right. And I oh, I got a super corny. Y'all going to say it's corny. It's fine. <laughs> this is a sure mic. Oh, my God. Quite Don't literally. Don't do it. If this mic doesn't is not sure of itself, mm. it doesn't keep it from quite literally being a sure mic. Can we say reach? <laughs> it's not a reach. I just looked at the name sure and he was talking. But that's but, but that's my point. And that's where you got to start. So. And so that's why I always say, that's why I hate when people say, I feel, yeah. I feel, I feel, I feel. I hate because feelings are, that's, that's always, and we'll, we'll, we won't talk about it now. We'll, sure. I want to get into your Facebook stuff. Yeah. But that's why I say there's a difference between joy and happiness, right? Yeah. Like happiness is a feeling. Joy is, is a state of being. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So, it's, so it's, if you are listening, it doesn't matter if you feel unsure about yourself. You are dope. You are dope. And you just have to get to the point where you accept that. Just because you don't feel it doesn't make it not true. So just go on and make up your mind. Let me go on and accept the fact that I'm dope because I'm dope whether I think or feel that I'm not or mm-hmm. not. Period. Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> can, can we, one, yeah. can we say the name of the, the giant? Because I was going well, to no, ease I was into say it the, Well, I think we can. I mean, it's no, it's not a game. secret's on my LinkedIn. Yeah. I, mean, okay. you're, you're, I, didn't, so, I, I didn't know how much we could have so connected. Because so I just mm-hmm. wrote down the time in case I had to beep out. Hey, the smart. <laughs> Meta. So you were making another transition. Meta. Yep. Like yeah. Another transition to your so product designer, right? Yeah. I am. Um, before, so you don't have to get you, into. Yeah. Before you do it, though, can we step back and talk about the segue for how it came? Well, that's what I was about to get to. That's okay. what I get to. I just wanted to say what he was product designer at Meta, Facebook and whatever. And I just kind of want to give a heads up, you know, because there are proprietary things going on and all this stuff. So he if he sounds like he might be ambiguous at some points it's on purpose yeah so just understand that so as much but as one you, thing we are going to find out is are they listening to us when we no, <laughs> oh we already know that's happening so how did this how did this come about and um, and what does it entail her name was not uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is, there's always a she no it, 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 it is a part of the story that is that i made me come back to it um i first of all I, I, a lot of people will look at it and say well you go from seven Grammy nominations, number one records with all these artists, and then you go into tech, like, how did you make that? Like, that's so different. I like how you just breeze that over, those seven mm. Grammy nominations. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, seven. Uh, seven. But go the ahead. Thing is, <laughs> but the thing is, I find so much commonality between the worlds, honestly, okay. Okay. that the segue and the transition has been it's great seamless. for me. Mm-hmm. Um, let's take, for instance, in music, um, you know, some of the power players or people that make the music are your songwriters, your producers, your engineers, your artists, Mm -hmm. and surrounding them are lawyers, managers, label execs, et cetera. But we all have to work together to produce this product. Absolutely. In technology, your, your experts are your product designers, your product managers, your engineers, your, your uh, marketing manager. Yep. Right. So we all have to work collaborative, collaboratively together to make a product. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that level of engagement, interaction, team building, thing? team building thing wow. is something that's natural for me because that's what I was doing in, in music. Studio, yeah. Um, even when it was like me doing my own writer and writing camp at my house where I'm like recruiting writers from California, New York and flying them to my house to write songs for a week or two or whatever. I had to coordinate all of that with mm-hmm. their managers, with their schedules and get an engineer and studio A, studio B in the top you know, bottom section of the house, but whatever. So can we inject that? That's what a producer is. That is what it is. So we can clarify like Absolutely. that, that what he just said, 
that's what a producer is. Yeah. <laughs> He's responsible for gathering the colors yep. and creating the rainbow. Yep. So y'all running around calling yourselves producers, whatever. Yeah. That's what a producer Lil is. John yeah. dictated that that's a beat maker. We we we've got to separate. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, it's, you guys just repeat yourself some sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So so I don't find that the two disciplines are so different. So I want to start there. Okay. Um, and I honestly know we know that really music is a tech business. I mean, yeah. the way we, especially now. especially now, but even always been, you know, in terms of technology takes everything and amplifies it. Yeah. So, um, like obviously money. we, we play, we created things to make music on, whether it be a log tree or whatever, you right, know what I mean? Right. Uh, made sound, you know, then put that sound in some organ organized format. Um, maybe put a vocal to it and then that evolved into electricity and electronics and to now the, the streaming aspect of it. But it's always been a game of this is a tech business. We make tech products and we do it in a way that we can actually have m masses of people to enjoy it. What happened was the business, um, I feel, was a little slow to adapt to the changes in technology several years ago, mm -hmm. namely being the Napsters mm -hmm. and right. later on the Spotify's. And, um, you know, as as a, a component of the business, as a producer, songwriter, um, you know, the word on the street was, oh, we're going to figure this out. We're going to figure this out. We're getting these, you know pirating situations where people would just download albums. Remember when leaking albums was really a yeah, big problem? Big deal. Big deal. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to figure this out. And honestly, <clears throat> unfortunately, I did I did what I probably, I don't regret it, but I did a, okay, I believe it. We'll figure this out. As opposed to, mm, I got to figure something else out mm -hmm. then. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so long story short, you know, during a time where, you know, the records weren't coming out as much, you would go from Usher maybe coming out with an album every two, three years to not many at all, or maybe an EP or maybe a single, mm -hmm. one single year, right. you know, just because they were, the record industry was playing that, let me see, you know, game. Like, we don't know how to act in this environment. Let's put this out, see how the fans react. Mm -hmm. Let's put that out. Um, I found myself being involved even more heavy um, from a from a more of a strategic perspective with certain projects as well, and that's kind of like raised my eyebrows. Specifically, Tyrese's open invitation, mm -hmm. and um, we were in Temecula and just you know vibing it out. I remember when Tyrese called me late one night before I even we probably even flew out to Temecula just randomly like three o'clock in the morning. He was like, "Man, Kendrick, I need you, man. I need you in, in California, man. I need to finish this album." And, Got my masters back from Clive, and I just I I trust you with my vocals. I'm like, bro, it's like three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> like, can you get on the bird? Can you get on the bird first thing in the morning? I said, let me let me see something. But long story short, we did end up you know connecting in Temecula where he used to live in Cali, and I became very um, important piece of that project. So much so that I was able to influence or at least have a voice in a lot of the the, the strategy. Um, the the idea, the marketing, and stuff like that. Like he had his own team, but I was I, I was there. I had a ear, had his ear too, right, and, right. I had, and I had the respect of the team too. Right. And so when he would fly to to to, to San Francisco to talk to um, iTunes at the time about where his album would be placed, I'm starting to see this connection between strategy, marketing, social media, and you know iTunes and all of this. And I'm like, wait a minute, this this ain't as complex as I think it is. Mm. Well, you right. got the curtain raised. You got to kind of see all of the pieces moving together. That's right. Just one part. Got to peek right. at the wizard. Huh? Right. O outside of, you know, being in the creative space, mm -hmm. I saw, you know, all of these things happen. And I'm like, wait, everything is really tied in. Um, and then long story short, I had a friend or I have a friend who um, was in the mu music business full time uh, as an engineer and decided to uh, transition into tech and mm -hmm. into the space of product design. And so I remember he would ask me every so often, hey, Kendrick, um, can you tell me how to do such and such and such in Photoshop? And I was like, why does he want to ask me about Photoshop? Okay, here, do this, do that, do that. A few weeks later, hey, Ken, um, how you do this, this, and that in Photoshop? I'm like, bro, what are you doing in Photoshop? <laughs> so anyway, he's like, man, man, wait till I tell you about this this, this, uh, this career that I'm doing right now. I'm doing UX, UI design, I'm in tech, blah, 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 blah. And he started running it down. Prior to that, mm -hmm. I had another epiphany vision, whatever you want to call it. It was like a downloaded phrase that came to me. Bridging the gap 
between the creative arts and technology. Didn't okay. know what that meant. Um, had a friend in London that we would have discussions about it. And, you know, she helped me think through it as well. I didn't know what it was. And I was actually going through some challenges in my personal life. Mm -hmm. That's why I said she. Right. I, yeah. <laughs> um, we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, I was going through some challenges in my personal life. I was going through some some obstacles or some changes, I should mm -hmm. put it that way, in the music life. Um, I mean, everybody was. And some people still are. Um, in terms well, of... Where are we timeline-wise? Is this 2012, 13? Or is this a little bit before that? This is about 15. Okay. 14, okay. 15. Okay. Right. Um, trying to figure it out. You know, at that point, you know, a lot of producers are going chasing independent. Sorry. A lot of producers mm -hmm. were going and chasing independent money, mm -hmm. overseas money, Japanese money. You know what I mean? Hey, that's and, Japanese yeah, money. And try to, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's so interesting because um, I, I almost had like a, when I say almost, I was really an inch away from a serious deal on the table with, um, a publishing company in Japan. Mm. Um, J-pop uh, type stuff? Like you were kind of getting caught up in that way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, I had a couple of deals like that, actually. Not just that deal, but other like song deals and did stuff like that. Did you work with JQ that. much? Not a whole lot, but no, no, we, okay. we have worked together. Okay. Yeah, we did a record for Q there. Parker. Yeah, he oh, yeah. left. Yeah. <laughs> Super talented. Yeah, yeah. I mean, amazing. Okay. Um, and so we just had... I had a, a couple of irons in the fire that, you know, you you know, ab about to to, to happen. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so when we say about to happen, or we talk about the music business, it's a hurry up and wait business, it's a smoke and mirror business. Let's keep it all the way real. Mm -hmm. um, everybody that you you think is making money ain't really making money. How they showing they're making money? Mm -hmm. Um, you, it is true. Songwriters make a lot of money in the business, but art, artists as well, because they have, you know, performance, they have, uh, um, you know, licensing and merchandise and all that stuff. Yeah, make sure y'all go listen to the music publishing podcast. Part yep. one is part two. Part one and part two. Yep. Go ahead. I learned about that. <laughs> so, so I had a lot of things that even deals that I had signed for like a lot of money, delivered the records and they just backed out. You know what mm. I mean? It's like mm. weird. We, mm. we had an agreement, whatever. Yeah. It's just mm. like 12 hours. And I was in the middle of, um, I was in a relationship at that time. And um, you said get vulnerable, right? Go ahead and get vulnerable. <laughs> now I was in a relationship at that time. And, and I'm still going to keep it tech. I'm still going to move it. But these things happen and it changed. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the way I looked at life or approached life. Oh, this is that we don't that know next. how it's going to look part. Yeah, we, we don't about. know how it's going to look. Yeah, she ain't know how it was going to look. Um, <laughs> and and, and, and shout, out to, shout out to her respectfully. Um, a lot of times when we go through things, and particularly if it involves another person, we want to blame them. And okay. it's so easy to. Um, but honestly, sometimes you go through things that may not feel good, may be bitter, but I'm always, I'm always thinking optimistically. I'm always knowing it's going to be okay. Um, so I, I was in that relationship and I was going through some hard times financially. Um, and I had told her, you know, it was happening. But I was still like, it was still like on, this is, I just signed this deal. This is about to happen. This, right. It just, it was a perfect storm. I couldn't plan it. I couldn't plan it. And so I remember, and you're going to get it all. Uh, I, <laughs> I remember, because I, I was in love and love with it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I went, um, I traveled, I remember visiting her parents. We were talking about getting married, mm. did it all in nine yards. She was, you know. Very smart, spiritual, uh, successful, you know. Did y'all get engaged? No. Why everybody say I was engaged? No, the only reason why I'm asking, and this I is this is how were. you this is how you know about other people's life through social media mm -hmm. and, and why you have to get context. I could have sworn I've seen photos of you and her before and, and I remember seeing a couple of photos where I actually thought Either you were engaged or you had just got married. Man, just see, I just photos. make it look like real love. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> nah, no, we we weren't engaged, but we were definitely talking about marriage. That was one down that road, okay. Um, and <laughs> uh, what do you say? What's the expression? She got your nose in the sky or something like that? Or, you know, there's a you know lot of them. Like, yeah, yeah. I, anyway, <laughs> anyway, I was caught up. You was caught up. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, I was caught up. You um, were, hey, and John Witherspoon, you was. I was with. Yeah, all day. I was real caught up. Um, 
Yeah, you because know, I felt like we we were close. I right. felt like we had you know a lot of the same similar backgrounds at least, mm-hmm. um, how we were raised and everything like that. And I was ready, um, but there were lessons that I still needed to learn. Uh, that's why I'm thankful for this situation. So basically, like I said, I I, I was straight up. I wasn't in the best position financially. Mm-hmm. And I, I think just, that. Do you mind if I just point something out on that? Point that if you out. Mind, if you've listened to, uh, well, I keep calling it Wild Card. I don't know why. That's but cool. Kendrick, if you listen to his story, he's a well thought out guy, right? Well rounded, head on his shoulders. He didn't really do things just winging it. Things were strategic. Where I went to school, why am I going to teach? And everything's strategic. Seven Grammy nods, doing his thing in music, succeeding. Deals there was over a, in Japan. Deals in Japan, but then there was a season. Mm hmm. Where financially things weren't what they were supposed to be, relationship wise things were. So my point is, you things will never be just so perfect. No, it still does this where things no, can't yes. go wrong. Yeah. So just understand that, like you're listening to the best of them, and, it's, and this like this guy is a he's a smart guy, a mm-hmm. good guy. I mean, just mature with everything you want to call it, and things still hit the fan. So I so just because that happens, just keep going. That's all I want to say because I don't want people to gloss over that because yeah. it sounds like you were doing everything right. Yeah, and then it still there. Ah! So it wasn't right. it wasn't for a lack of responsibility. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't because I was just blowing money. I liken it to the stock market. Just what you said. Mm-hmm. It's going to have dips, but just a long game. Because mm-hmm. even when even when you go down, it's going to be higher than the lowest point before. Right. You know what I mean? So right. life is always going to give you a challenge, and that was my challenge in season, my challenge in moment. But to your point. I had done all of these things right, and and unlike many people would have done, it's like, well, God, I did all this right, and why am I here? My whole thing is, I've done all this right, and I could do more things right after this. This is just this doesn't this moment doesn't define hey, me. There you go. So that was my attitude um, towards this this relationship situation. Um, but I still was very humble and came to her one night because I felt like you know I felt like there was some real tension like I felt like I was gonna lose I actually asked I was playing at a little church here in the city and I asked the pastor after church to pray for me because I knew I had to have this conversation and he was like yeah you know I definitely pray for you so you're a good you're a great guy and you know if, if she she walks out she's losing something I think everybody says that I was like, mm-hmm. okay cool so I came humbly to you know to the situation and I was just like you know I, I'm sorry it is the way it is I care about you um and you don't have to worry about what's going on right now. I'm gonna take care of it, right? What you say a man is supposed to do, mm-hmm. right? Yep. I'm gonna take care of it. Um, and she said, she's like, I hear you're sincere, I hear the sincerity in your voice. You're a great guy. You come from a good family. You're super smart. We will make beautiful kids together. You love God, but, but- I would be settling. Oh. I never said this story publicly, by the way. This is gonna go viral. Let's get it. Oh. <laughs> Let's roll with it. I mean, oh. how, do you, how do you list everything that's right? <laughs> it'd be mm-hmm. like, it's like, no, no, no. no. Just, what was missing off the list? Right, it's like, I know, I know you're a Bentley. I know that there's no other car like I know, but I would be sadly. <laughs> Because there is a Bugatti out there. <laughs> There's a Bugatti in the sky for and, us. And you know what? And that's exactly, that's all it was. Yeah. Like you were a fescue and maybe she felt like she needed Bermuda grass. <laughs> well, I don't know, but it, go ahead. Yeah. It, and just to, because I, I wow. always say, I always say yeah. things like when I talk about other people or relationships and they're not here to defend their point, I have to give caveat. Like she's not here to say her piece. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. And what she needed and wanted, I can't, I can't judge that. I sure. just I'm not that. No, that's you fair. Know what I mean? But it doesn't take right. any value away from me. Right. So she said You were right. You just maybe weren't right for her. For her. Right. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And and that's that's what it boiled down to. Mm-hmm. We don't talk, by the way. <laughs> you know, I don't think I think that well, when someone tells me they're settling and I know uh, I'm dope. <laughs> it's kind of hard to have a conversation. Well, I mean, well, you know, <laughs> we're getting a story version. I'm pretty sure it was some pots thrown and probably some stuff happening. Nah, I don't see that. Okay. Yeah, nah, I don't see it that. Was, it was, it was, it, I mean, some details I'll, I'll, you know, withhold. But long story short, um, she said love is not enough. She needed trips, dinners, and experiences to keep her happy. Okay. Um, she, she, I guess she had the notion that being with a record producer, the lifestyle was going to be oh, different. Geez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um, 
But yeah, that's that's where it is right there. Yeah. Say no more. Yeah. There it was right there. So it was a turning point, turning point for me when she left my house that night and like we broke up. My see my my reflexes. I'm like Bruce Lee with it. Listen, <laughs> my hands went up and I said, "Thank you, Jesus." Oh, oh I thought you was like, my hands went up. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, I ain't seen that one coming. <laughs> like, we just no. got through talking about preacher's kid and praying that you beat the girl up. Hey, listen. You no. said things. So you, said, when she said that, you felt it like. It was like a weight off. It was a weight off. Well, I mean, I was sad still. Uh-huh. Of course. But I, I was, the word trust. Mm-hmm. I trusted mm-hmm. that this, the process, the outcome was beneficial. This was thing not working was in my that's favor. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it was a here's the, that's where you teeter a little bit on ego too, because I knew you walking away from me. Mm. I, Cause I actually are you sure? I actually asked her that. Are you sure? She was like, Yeah. I said, you, you talk to anybody else about this? She said, My dad, oh, what did he say? You know, Kendrick is a great guy. You know, obviously you're an adult, you know, you have to make a decision, but I, I like him. Right. I say that's probably what I'll say to my daughter, I thought to myself. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I want to make sure that she was sure because this, I know the, I got a, I got a power. I I got Even that's responsible though. Like looking out for somebody else to make sure that they aren't walking away from something that's great for them and you. That's. Yeah. I mean, but you know, people want what they want and I can't, what I've realized is I can't make you want what I want. And if we can't want things together, we're not meant for each other. For sure. Or it's going to be a rocky road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause, cause life is not going to come. The, even like I'm anything when I'm hearing, you know, that the experiences and stuff like like you were saying earlier, this stuff comes with this. It, all you see is this glamour. You see me on a red carpet and all this stuff with Usher and all that stuff. Like, there's a lot that go in between. Mm-hmm. You know, we got 365 days of the year. There's a Grammy's lot of BTS. One night. One night. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of BTS. Yeah, yeah. a lot. <laughs> and drop the tea. Yeah, for you know sure. <laughs> like i mean like and 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 i i'm the type you know i i love the i love you know not i love the i the fact of the the idea of me being um remembered as someone that doesn't blast off about what he's done and all that stuff Mm -hmm. but i'm gonna tell you something when it comes to like god and my spirituality i'm I'm confident, bro. Like I'm Bruce Lee. I'm telling you with it. Mm. You know what I mean? Like mm. I'm leaning to the right a little bit. Not around me. <laughs> yeah. I know that. Yeah. Don't 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 come for me, man. Like right. I'm I'm Bruce Lee with it, and that don't mean everything's gonna be peachy key and perfect. Mm-hmm. It's not supposed to be. Right. But I I'm got it, man. I, I got know. A, I got a question on this. Mm-hmm. So my my wife and I had a conversation probably about five years ago now, and she made a statement that she felt that she ruined my career. Mm. And I told her, so I said, I, I ruined yours too. Like that was my re- my initial response was mm-hmm. that because I mean my, my wife's an actress and mm-hmm. I was a music producer. Mm-hmm. Us being together and learning how to be husband and wife yeah. to one another cost both of us something, some some things. Because I mean, mm. you the late nights out, that stuff has to quell if yeah. you're trying to build a home. Like yeah. some of that stuff goes away. Yeah. Um, and there have been moments where we, you know, we've had those open conversations. Like, yep. if I weren't here, where would you be? And mm-hmm. vice versa. So mm-hmm. in this moment, mm-hmm. um, I mean, I'm sure it was overly emotional. I mean, I'm sure the tears were shared. You've had, you probably had months, probably even a year or two. Oh, yeah. I went to therapy. Yeah. yeah. If it was heartbreak, um, that joint, I don't like, you physically yeah. feel that. I, you do. Of course, I had that once in my but life. But you, mentioned, you yeah. mentioned the weight lift, like the, the thank you moment. Like, yeah. was, was that... Was that break moment a catalyst in kind of helping you build this glue and the new focus and direction eventually, of where you're heading now? Yeah, eventually. Um, like it, it, it goes, um, it goes in ways. Like you know, you say you get sad and get angry. You get you know oh, depressed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it, it goes. It goes so and denial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it went. It went in that direction for at least a couple of weeks. Fortunately, and that's why I know God has everything in order and ordained. I was scheduled to be in Vordenburg, Denmark, like four days later for a writing retreat with some amazing writers across the world, especially mostly in Scandinavia, but from Germany, from Korea. And it was an intimate setting. It was going to be 12 of us in like a castle overlooking the lake. It was wow. something crazy and grand, but we were just, it was like really organic. Like we were going to um, lecture about our process and then have dinner, lunch and breakfast catered and served in the mansion. And then we we're going to perform it 
in Indian style and like talk about it and just hang out. The rest of the night. It was storytelling like on the max. It was really See, dope. if you did the lock ins like this, more people would. Oh, I'm just, <laughs> don't, hey, it's so funny you say that, but we're not going to discuss it. I can't even believe you said that. Okay. So it was perfect timing because I needed that level of, you know, camaraderie, support. Because those, a lot of those writers I had known, mm-hmm. you know, because I had been going back and forth. I didn't talk about that. I've been going and doing a lot of work in, 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 in Denmark and Copenhagen and in Norway and Germany mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And a lot of writers there, I know that it's, it's a different lifestyle. You know, mm-hmm. there's one thing about, yes, yes, we say travel, definitely travel if you can. And I ain't talking about, even though I love the Bahamas, I ain't talking about Turks and Caicos in the Bahamas. Right. I ain't talking about Jamaica. I'm talking about Germany, Korea, South Korea, um, Japan, <laughs> um, Europe. You know what I mean? I mean, go to North Korea if you want. Mm-hmm. If, if you, you want can. to. If you want yeah, to come back home. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, traveling. So I met some amazing folks, and they kind of helped me through that moment because I needed support. Mm-hmm. And it was like perfect timing. And then my best friend, I told you, he lives in Orlando, went, went to UCF. Because I called him the next day. And I was like, I was, I was lost, man. Yeah. I was like, man, it's never happened to me again. And I even tried to reach back out to her to get her to reconsider. I was, I thought I was tore up. I was the now phase, yeah. Yeah, I was tore up. Yeah. I was like, but what happened to love? What happened to uh, Corinthians? What happened to, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, oh, the she, songs in the vault that came from that. She Let called me, me delusional, bro. What? Oh. I mean, that's that's such a far. <laughs> How like, did she go from there to delusional? <laughs> she called me delusional. I mean, what, what, Oh, I, I do kind of wish she was here just to hear what? her side. That's called <laughs> I'm up. sure there's some internal <laughs> things that she would express. She goes, I didn't even tell him or whatever, but, yeah, but go, I, ahead. Well, so go ahead. I, I mean, like, here's the thing. I, I'm very careful, and I always say this, like I said, she's not here to represent her side, but I'm very cautious. Like, people, I have my perception and perspective from and my end. real. His that's story, so her real. story, and the truth. That's so real, yeah, bro. It's so the truth. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but out of respect, out of respect, right. she and any other exes, or even when I'm talking to somebody here, or anybody else that have done you wrong, they have their own perspective. Yeah. Man, and, you better. Oh my God, I got this one ex. I told my brother this. I said, "Listen, man, I know Facebook and social media lies because same thing, the pictures and all that stuff." But there's this one ex. So that I hope everything that she conjures in, I hope she believes all of it, and I hope she sits with it at night and that's probably a vengeful side of me that i should get rid of yeah you should but i get enjoyment out of knowing that she she did that and yeah. I, I want you to live with that and but i i admire people who can who can find that space and do that even after i i pray and wish nothing but the best for her i said yep. I, I, yep. I i my prayer was i pray that she gets all of her heart's desire and even better than what she expects. And what people, a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people know this, but it's a nice reminder that that prayer actually was more so for you than it was for her. For letting it go. Yeah. But not only letting it go, but just, you know, again, it depends on what you subscribe to, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm going to give it, I'm going to give you the traditional way of saying it, but unblocking blessings. Sure. Okay. You understand know what I'm saying? Because when you keep that kind of stuff against someone, you're all you're doing is setting up roadblocks for yourself. Mm-hmm. I, I struggle with that on, on yeah. a daily. And I mean, I, I told that story truth. In, in seriousness because yeah. I, I, I can sort of kind of relate to it. Mm-hmm. And I do have moments where I think, I'm like, man, I'm wondering if I'm blocking stuff by still. Yeah. yeah I mean, sure. I don't feel like I'm holding a grudge still because I mean, this is. 18 years ago at this point but it's like there's still this thing I'm like man I know she see this yeah, yeah and, still there. <laughs> I, I mean we all got ego uh, I, yeah. I don't shy away from mine mm-hmm. um, I try to monitor it and just mm-hmm. recognize it so yeah you, you want to be like hey look look at me now mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like it, it, it but it, it, you know I, at the end of the day there's no me without Hey, right. you know what I mean mm-hmm. so it ain't me doing it and it never was right, right, mm-hmm. right. you know what I mean I think you know I think I get a message and it's a lot of messages in that story. Uh, but one of the messages is that you really, if you want to invest in somebody, really invest in who they are, not in what they can do. They can be, right. yeah. um, you know, but also too, one thing she said to me is like, you know, I just want you to see how God sees you. I didn't get that because I did feel, I felt like I saw how God see, saw me, but there, there still was a level level and here's where we get it twisted in terms of relationship. We f- we feel like this other person that we are interested in needs to be already figured out, mm-hmm. mm. and yep. and vice versa. But it don't work that mm-hmm. way. That's you know where the mean? phrase comes from: mind your business. Yeah, mind your business. Yeah, your life, your well being, how you are. Like mind that. Yep. And if both people in that relationship are doing that, mm-hmm. y'all straight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a fact. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. Fact. Mm-hmm. And so while 
you know, there was some truth to that statement to a degree. Um, she wasn't the one to 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 be the helpmate to to encourage that right, to right, see. Right. Um, I, but it definitely inspired me in a way and shifted my thinking of I got to figure this out and this ain't it. And I got to tap into another level in me mm. because here's the thing. Not, I'm not jaded in the sense I, I love is powerful and I, I'm still a giver and I still believe in the potential of those, that type of relationship for my life um, with, with the, the woman who I desire to be with. But um, at the same time, I don't wait on it. Mm-hmm. I don't wait on it to yeah, feel yeah, a certain yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Smart, smart. I, Listen, I love my. I sound like Terrell Owens. I love, I love myself. myself. Yeah. I love you for me. I love you. I tell people all the time, I am my own best friend. Yeah. Like, I'll be in the corner going like, eh, 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 eh. true story, yeah. by the way, but we won't go into it. <laughs> because I'm my own best friend. Yeah. I do love. I love Stone. Yep. Like, straight up, I love Stone. I am Stone's biggest champion. Yep. And that's not cocky. That yep. just means I, you, you're just an additive. Yep. Hopefully. Yep. But I don't need you. And I, and I don't say, and I agree, and I don't say this maliciously. But had I known then what I know now, I would have never pursued her because I'm like, in hindsight, I was like, I like that. How long did y'all date? About seven months. Yeah. See, see, that's not even long enough to know. Eh, no, that's not true. Yeah, it's uh, not even well, long enough to know. It depends on the person. <laughs> it does yeah, definitely it depends, depends on the person. I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah. Generally speaking, I'll say where this, you are in your life. I mean, I, I, I'm <clears throat> far be it for me to tell you what you can and can't do, but I'm not going to allow you to make that statement without me saying this because with everything that we've talked about being manifested, and just about every move you've told us that you've made has led to something, mm-hmm. your perspective right now wouldn't be what it is on that situation mm-hmm. had you not without gone through it. Facts, of course. Situation. Facts, yeah, the human side Which of Which is what he said, too. Yeah. The failure yeah. is... Right, so, yeah. so what I, I guess what I really mean is that you get lessons or blessings, and that's yeah, a yeah. lesson because now I know the characteristic, mm-hmm. what to look for, right. and, and and I know my, my natural procl- proclivities in mm-hmm. terms of what mm-hmm. I am attracted to yeah. and that I need to know a lot more and dig a little deeper before yeah. I so now I'm smarter yeah. Yeah. I'm wiser yeah. I'm better, better. Much better. I, what's so funny is when you said she said love is not enough at first I was like hey you right yeah, it is but so then what she true. followed up with it was kind of I like need, she just followed the whole thing she's like yeah. I need materials because yeah. yeah. yeah, love is not enough love is not yeah. enough yeah. 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 love up and down yeah. like that's not you don't build like a lot of people don't like that but you don't build a relationship on love love mm-hmm. ebbs and flows I tell you well, anybody can I say this can though hate that person let me like. balance that because love's the coin sure but one side of the coin is the feeling of love, the emotion mm-hmm. of love. Mm-hmm. Don't forget, love's a verb. Yeah, the action. The other side of the verb is the action. So yeah. when we say love's not enough, we really mean the one side of the coin of love's not mm-hmm. enough because we rarely pay attention to the other side of the coin. Yeah. It takes the work. It takes the action. Yeah. I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. 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 We do it all the time. <laughs> all, all the time. Yeah, my, pretty much what I'm going to use, the, I wasn't going to use the coin analogy, but what I was going to say was when, when, you, when love turns into that hate emotion, it's the choice to continue flipping the coin. Is that word yeah. choice? You, you decide that that's what that you're going to do. Word. And then when you come across enough information where this isn't it, you change that hindsight from being 2020 to saying, I would not have to, I will not again. Yeah. And we then talk, you make a choice. We talk to me and Tosh all the time. And I've, I've been very vulnerable about it. You know, we've always gotten divorced like three times. And every single time we stay together, it was literally nothing but no more than a choice. Mm-hmm. It had nothing to do with love, had nothing to do with respect i mean there's respect whatever it, none of that crap had yeah. any, it was two things it, it, was, it was word of god because there was one time where the thread of the word of god was the only thing we did not like each other let alone love we didn't like each other mm. you know what i mean but whereas god will forgive divorce and all that kind of stuff we know he doesn't like it Mm-mm. we know he doesn't take pleasure in it mm-hmm. that was just enough mm-hmm. for us to like all right let's give it a shot but at the end of the day what johnny said it was a choice that's the only thing 26 years mm-hmm. it's been nothing but choices mm-hmm. both of us have had plenty of reasons to be like you're just not it we've mm-hmm. actually said that two people live wow. where we sat on the edge of the bed i looked at her she looked at me and she said do you think we missed it mm. i said yes she said, what do you want to do? And at that moment, I had a choice to make, and she was giving me the option. Mm. And all I said was, if I can find anything that I can do better, then I don't have a license to quit. Mm. And so I went, and I said, mm. and, and, right, and right away I said, from this very argument, when you said that, I didn't have to respond that way. 
that's something I got to work on. I don't have a license to quit. Mm. I said, so let's, I said, I'll work on it if you will. She said, okay. I choose. Just a choice. Yeah, yeah. It was, <laughs> There was no emotion involved. Yeah. There was no music in the background. Mm -hmm. It was just literally, I'm going to decide to work on it. And yeah. the people that are closest will tell you because mm -hmm. they think it's funny, like yeah. our drama and stuff like that. I'm like, y'all yeah. don't, y'all don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that, that was it deep, is, Johnny, what you said. It definitely is a choice and, and you have to make choices every day. And the choice that she made in that you know i she made to break and i made to um still be grateful um turned out well I, and i i'm i hope it turned out well for her mm -hmm. um so i want to definitely put a, put put a stop there and say that um but it felt like when you let go of things that you may not know maybe keeping you back people that it's not on their purpose but they just may be keeping you back as you're connected to them sometimes the, the the gates of blessings just open and flood out and that's what eventually ended up happening in short order mm -hmm. yeah. and so yeah. from 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 transitioning into tech uh even blessings with you know me in real estate and being an investor on that side um everything that i ever wished and imagined in terms of what my life would be even if I didn't know those new things started to happen. I'm mm -hmm. like, Oh, Oh wow. So no longer was I in a bind anymore. Mm -hmm. I was much wiser. I was much more of a man. I, 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 I really was more of a responsible, um, husband mm -hmm. type. Right. Uh, and I understood a lot more about human psychology and tendencies that we all have mm -hmm. the way we think the way we move the way we make decisions or the things that we carry from childhood mm -hmm. into adult Ooh, relationships that can be really you know detrimental from yeah. us moving forward yeah. and we find ourselves in cycle and dating the same person in a different body mm -hmm. um having the same job but in a different location like we find all these things happening. Hiring like, the same interns. Is, <laughs> <laughs> you just as soon as as soon as I quench the fire, Johnny. You, here you come with the grease. I'm sorry. So, I, so I'm gonna ask a closing one. You know, and then we're gonna we give haven't you last gotten word. deep into Facebook. I was yet, gonna man. go to that. Well, that's what I was we, gonna we say. I was gonna say, can we at least tell the people what it is we, you do? Yeah, man, we listen. We gotta do that. Yeah. So let's let's do the last segment on what it is I you're knew doing. You gonna take us to church bro, at but, Facebook. Yeah. yeah. This, so, this is everything I knew it was gonna be. So I transitioned the tech uh soon after that breakup um exploring bridging that gap between the creative arts and technology not knowing what that was i took a few trips down to la uh had a few meetings with a couple of exec friends of mine during the grammys and just started talking about like you know how could we reimagine the label structure to where we you know kind of create a tech division you know what i mean and we At create the labels. yeah and we create the technology instead of playing on the heels and I could at that point I couldn't really give away all of my idea yes, but yes. it was more so y'all need to hire me to create this I took a similar conversation over to my friends in tech and was like you know how could we you know make tech more um, attractive to more people make it more sexy make it more creative leaning the people in tech were a little bit more or a lot more uh, welcoming of my talking points the, the labels were a little bit more either handicuffed, they couldn't do it, mm -hmm. uh, or handcuffed, I'm sorry, or um, just not really feeling it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so it caused me to really dig deep and explore even more the tech side. And my friend that was, how you do this on Photoshop? He started telling me, you know, this is what you need to do to get to where I'm at. This is what you need to, to read. This is what you need to, to study and learn. This is the, the, the certificate that you need, et cetera. And so shortly thereafter, I almost became self-taught. Um, I got some foundational information on how to do product design. I'll go into de depth of what that is. Um, and then started working with a startup company, um, mm. designing mobile apps for uh, companies, mom and pop companies. Really? Yeah, across the country. Well, in Tasha's years, she's going to be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> <But> go ahead. <laughs> um, and getting my feet wet. And then all uh, of that, building my portfolio. Mm. And I had an opportunity shortly thereafter. Um, a recruiter hit me up and was like, Cox Communications, based here at Atlanta, they want to interview you. They like what they see. You got headhunted by us? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. 
Yep. And so and so um, they called, did the interview, had to go in for a second and third round in front of like, you know, a, a team of people. Yeah. And I, I, I was with Cox for three years. Great time. Um, I was a lead mobile app designer on the Cox Business Mind Count mobile app. We did some phenomenal numbers. Uh, it was the first business mobile app for my account for that company. Um, and then Facebook came a calling. Um, Facebook came a calling through LinkedIn. They were like, you know, are you interested in open? You know, we would love to talk to you. And I was like, of course, of course. And so we scheduled an interview with the recruiter. They have to do a screening. Mm-hmm. We did that. Always watching, man. And then, um, then I went into the, the, the rounds of, of interviews mm-hmm. and I can, I may, I think I can talk about this. I bombed the first official interview. Y'all say that bro. Yeah. Like it was terrible. It was terrible. I, 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 so I wasn't used to that. I wasn't used to a virtual interview. Mm-hmm. Okay. And in that format, um, and I'm, first of all, I'm a person that takes full responsibility. I bomb. It wasn't nothing that they did or anything mm-hmm. I did. I just wasn't as prepared as I should have. Did you know how to be prepared for that? N- not. I didn't. I, I wasn't curious enough. Okay. Ooh, that's boy. That's accountability talking, yeah. boy. Yeah. Nice. I wasn't curious enough. Nice. Um, and when they called me back and the recruiter was like, uh, well, you know, we want to thank you for interviewing. We decided to go in a different direction. And I was like, okay. I remember I was driving, I believe, from from work at that point. Uh, I was like, okay, okay. And then that whole, let's take it back. When she left, I did. I raised my hand at Bruce Lee. Thank you, Jesus. That is a click moment that happens. It's like, oh, you're going to, oh, okay, that's on me. Watch this. And then I go into some kind of stealth mode. I can't even describe it. I just like go bazonkers and like figure it out like for this particular situation oh this ain't never when they call me again i'm gonna be <laughs> who's the jamaican i say ready ready ready, ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. i would be ready for sure and so what i did over the next several months is i start building my portfolio up I start really building my acumen up and understanding the interview process. I start to to read more about how to interview in big tech and and got a course, purchase a course, a class and and study. I I found my way in finding a tutor off of Instagram and I searched and she worked at Google and I said, Hey, look, I know you tutor and you you do, you know, whiteboarding, can you work with me and she's like yeah be $150 an hour it's like I'm gonna sacrifice and do that yeah sure it's worth I'm it gonna invest in I'm myself gonna do that and, and do we'll that. do these many sessions and then I and then uh, one of the, the a company that I reached out to about whether or not they knew because that was all over the place I was on YouTube finding people's names and I would look up their names in LinkedIn and I liked their video I would reach out to them in LinkedIn or going I, I, I'm that's how resourceful. I did my publishing job like I lie to you not yeah. like, oh my dude you're this this whole five minutes is everything our podcast <laughs> is about yeah. this is everything our podcast is this about this is actually Go the thing ahead. I hate about how the world works though because it's the most it's the most necessary and you have to not so much love it but you have to have the the methodical focus to be able to do it not one time did any of that come up where you couldn't do the job they were calling you for Mm-mm. because they called you yeah it was the work you had to put into it to get through the freaking interview yeah. to get to do the job that you already mm-hmm. know how to do. Yeah. That's where the work comes from. You can be as talented in the world as say, you want to be. They called you because you're talent, but mm-hmm. then there was some skill. Yeah, and, and yeah, yep. Exactly. So you got to be able to deliver. And so all of that, um, you know, even got re- referred to another designer that just did webinars, right? And I logged into his webinar. There was a couple hundred people in there. He had to actually... Uh, take a call because his dad had had COVID and he, he said guys I'll come right back and so I'm taking that as an opportunity so I'm hey guys what's up my name is Kendrick Dean blah 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 anybody want to do a white session with a whiteboarding session with me whiteboarding sessions are basically um where you solve problems uh through, through design right they'll give you a prompt okay. you know you have to solve the problem you have to give the the uh the business value on what success looks like and everything like that and really write out your process but you have to practice that kind of stuff because mm-hmm. because normally in big tech that's a part of a lot of the interview process mm-hmm. so um, so I, 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 I was like, you know, recruiting people and they were like, Hey, you know, there's this group on Slack and you should join. They do whiteboarding sessions, you know, every Tuesday night. So I was like, great, great bet. And so I found that group on Slack, hit the moderator of that group. Can I join your group? Yes. Joined that group on a breakout session, got paired with this young lady's, um, 
um, young Japanese lady, good friend of mine still to this day. And we were both kind of in the same space, wanting to find the next, the next opportunity, next gig. And so we said, hey, listen, why don't we just whiteboard every day? Like do whiteboard exercises every day, and so that's what ended up happening. We started because she was she was preparing for an interview with another company. Mm-hmm. I was getting ready for the interview with Facebook because they had called back. I was going to say later. where did so where did the where did the, the circle around come? So circle yeah, they, cir- they circled back a few months later. Um, same year. Uh, this was shoot. This what made was, them circle back? Well, I mean, I, I guess what. I don't know. I mean, I know what is it? I, so I know what you did for Cox. So <laughs> the, the, the success was still there. That's what I'm saying. Like the, the, I, re- recruiters can see when you blow an interview. Yeah. But the, again, that's what I was pointing out. The talent to complete the task, to create, to design, to develop was there. Right. That's what they called for in the first place. Yeah. They called back to see if you did your damn homework. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. Yeah. I mean, preparation, opportunity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, right. so I, and I manifested it back in. Hey, I'm, I'm ready. To, go. I'm ready to, to get it. All right. And so um, I was ready, ready. Uh, and they called back and they were like, hey, listen, we wanted to talk to you again. And then went to see where I was and, you know, what have I learned in the last few months and whatnot. And and and, 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 and I was ready with the mm-hmm. answer. You know what I mean? It's like, great. We want to talk to this person and we'll get back to you. And he got back to me and put me in the whole interview process again. Uh, I don't think this is a secret, but big tech is very difficult to get into. Mm-hmm. Um, whether it's Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Amazon, these I gave companies. Up. Like literally, I quit <laughs> because of how difficult. It's but you don't quit if it's your dream, man. Keep going. Um, because it's possible. And and like I said, I have a I have Bruce Lee confidence. That's probably gonna be my new nickname. So you got Bruce Lee, <laughs> Bruce Lee reflexes and, and confidence. Yeah, yeah. Bruce Lee confidence. I'll be listen to my uh, listen to my podcast. Uh, be like water. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and and I love that song. Um, and, and so. It, finding persons to to what I call spar with or practice with interviews with, yeah. you know, uh, making sure I can present my portfolio in the right way that I was hitting all the points, you know, digging in the crates of YouTube to find out as much as I can about their process that's public. You know what I mean? And also them also providing resources as well to mm-hmm. to, to help guide it to so you can ha- actually have an idea of what the day would be like. And that last, it was, se- it was several rounds of interview, um, which I won't go into detail because our process is our process. But just put it this way. Most people don't even have the stamina to handle the final round of interview. Wow. Um, and I, are we talking about mental or physical? Both. Or both. Okay. Mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual. They don't have the stamina to handle it. I remember that morning I walked around my, my subdivision, and this is going to sound crazy. Um, I went to the... Um, I went to the the uh, what do you call it the HOA office like the the mm-hmm. pool house or whatever, and they got a little playground and they got swings. You went swinging? Yeah, I went Man. swinging. I went swinging. I called my dad, and just before, like just before the Cox uh, interview, before this interview, I asked him to pray for me. Was on the swing swinging because I wanted to feel light. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had I made sure I had a great night's rest, which I didn't the first time. I made sure that I had a, a good breakfast, but not too much, which I didn't the first time. And I was ready days ahead. You know what I mean? Right. Went went in the interview and well, I'm gonna say. Can you how say that one saying. more time? You were ready when? Days ahead. When? Days. One more time. Days ahead. Days ahead. Days ahead. Not the night before. Not the night. Not before. the eleventh hour. No. But days ahead. Days ahead. Yeah, there's a lesson. Days ahead. ahead. But go ahead. I meditated <laughs> and I I Bruce Lee them up. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> and it was it and you know, my recruiter hit me back and it was like we want to hire you. He said, I'm, I'm so excited. He said, it, it's, he said, man, you have no idea. Was the it the same recruiter of, from the first time? No. Different. Okay. Different. Yeah. He okay. said, you have no idea the amount of persons that I have to turn away and to be able to say, yes. <sighs> you know what I mean? And that yeah. actually is true. That had to feel oh, good yeah. for him too. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, and yeah, it <laughs> felt good for him and, and, great, and for you. great for me. <laughs> um, you know, it, it, it if I need if I need evidence ever that you can do anything, that you put your mind to it. Um, I didn't go to design school. I don't have a computer or CS science, computer science degree. Um, I'm not an engineer, you know, but I'm in tech, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and thriving. And it's, it's great. And I'm 
still dope at them keyboard stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? Facts. Like, and do you still do music? Though? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to ask. Absolutely. So, you know, it's, it's been like 17 years since uh, Say Goodbye. Mm-hmm. And Breezy, that long? wow, yeah, right. No time flies. And and when you got seven Grammy nominations, it's just you know time. Um, but Breezy just dropped like I don't know twenty four hours ago. I mm-hmm. haven't listened to it yet. But when I listen to it, am I gonna hear the Kendrick Wildcard Dean record on there? I'm just wondering. Is it possible that I might I, hear a Wildcard record on the yeah, new Breezy album? Of course. Okay. I just, so you on the current Chris Brown album? That's what I'm asking. No, 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 not on that. Oh, oh, no, okay. not not from that perspective. Oh, okay, okay. I, was, I, was I ain't talking possibility. I was asking if you snuck one in, like you got a record that's about to be out, like right now. But <laughs> now, I'm, I'm all sure. right, so because being in the pl- place you are at Meta or mm-hmm. Facebook, I can only imagine the amount of focus and stuff it takes. So, yeah. do you have anything currently going on in music at all? Getting getting back into it. So okay. other than. Not from a creative aspect yet, but okay. that's soon to come. But I have been uh, very active in developing my um, more administrative, behind-the-scenes music business acumen. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm affiliated with, and some of you may know, with the uh, Mechanical Licensing Collective, yeah, MLC. MLC, which is an organization um, that plays uh, pays out, uh, collects and distributes digital mechanical royalties to songwriters and publishers. And um, I am, am currently, you know, in the role of uh, Atlanta rep mm-hmm. uh, consultant. Um, another reveal is I'm getting ready to move to Silicon Valley um, as a part of my Facebook responsibilities and being in the, in the headquarter office. I work in the headquarter office uh, next week. Um, but I'm still very active with MLC and I will be continuing to help them to spread the word that we need songwriters Mm -hmm. to sign up so they can get paid. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, before the, um, music modernization act that came out in 2018, songs that were written, I believe before 1972 that were played now weren't getting paid from streams. Right. And so the Music Modernization Act corrected that, and in, and, in, and in that act was the birth of the MLC. Now, I, this is full circle, I was a part of a, a contingency um, from the Recording Academy that went to um, the uh, Capitol Hill and, like, lobbied, okay. you know, for songwriter reform several years ago so the MMA could actually come into play. So for me to now be involved with the MLC... Mm-hmm. Um, you, you know, you from birthed it and now you get the continuation. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So it feels real right. Um, and it also feels even good. Remember I said bridging that gap between creative arts and technology because we're in the, 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 the way of technology. Mm-hmm. You right. know what I mean? With, right. with what we do, uh, with streaming and everything like that. So, um, continue to branch out into that and, in that aspect of music and also getting back in the studio. I got hit still. I believe it. Holla at me. I'm still sitting on four <laughs> tracks myself right now. That you yeah. sent me. Four? I'm not, I yeah, bet yeah. Kendrick got more no, than four. No, it's just four. I mean, he sent me a bunch, but <laughs> there was four that's just like, and I said, I refuse to send these back to him without a top line. Okay. And, yeah. I, and, and that will happen because they're crazy. And yeah. they're, they're kind of timeless. They're, I'm not worried about them aging out. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. Seriously. And so you going to let him sit on them four for that long? That's what you're going to he, do? He's got to let the spirit lead him. <laughs> My man. Yeah. That's, that's all it is. So, that's all it is. So it's like, I don't, I, I'm no longer a slave to the industry. Music wise, mm. I don't have to make or get a placement to eat. a beautiful space man. to be in, bro. Let me tell you, man, <laughs> you asked for that though. You, yeah. you, you manifested that slavery. I mm-hmm. just don't want y'all to lose, which I know you're not, you're not stupid. Okay, so please don't take this the wrong way. Mm-hmm. But I hope you hear all the the physical work. And when I say work, we're not talking blood, sweat, and tears work all the time, it's just the effort. You know, getting on Google, researching this, learning that, taking that course. That, I mean, the whole thing of I am, I am, I am, it comes, it comes. and Do it. It's important. It works. But God dog it. Then once you get out of that room or out of that pod or wherever it is you do it and you stop talking, you got to do. I mean, I honestly, like you are the embodiment of this entire <laughs> podcast and i knew there was a reason to bring you in it's so funny because we have yet to really work together we've never mm-hmm. worked together really no, no no we've never worked together but we've always run and there's one thing i can say about you hope you say about i just know he was just a good guy he, he kendrick was always one of those guys i said that to tosh i said that everyone when his name came up i said kendrick's one of the good guys and when i say that i'll just mean like he ain't never screwed nobody he's talented but that he's just a good guy and i'm saying it in front of your face but mm-hmm. like i've said it behind your back a million times mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so I knew what I was going to get. Mm-hmm. 
by having him on here. You know what I mean? But I mean, it's been such a freaking treat, bro. Like I can't even tell you. Like we could do this on and on and on and on, but we are going to check back in with you after you're over there and yeah. see what's going on and what's next. Oh yeah, by the way. Uh, no, next so we're, we're tying in space travel with music <laughs> and, tech, and tech and we're bringing in frequencies and how we, <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Mark my word. What the time? It's June 24th. It's going to happen, it's man. Gonna happen. It's, it's been a pleasure. It's been a real pleasure and a treat to be here with you guys. How can people um, find you, bro? Like, I'm sure they want to follow you at this point. Follow your journey. Yeah. Um, I'm on all platforms. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. At Kendrick Dean. So I'm gonna resend my Facebook request because you. I, Are you serious? I, 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 yeah, I'm gonna resend it because I sent it years ago. I was like, yeah, he ain't never going. Brian accepted it. You didn't, but it's okay. You know, I canceled Bro, it. But man, I'm gonna resend like, it. It wasn't on purpose. I'm gonna resend yeah. it this one time. It, was it, was one one it wasn't on purpose, but yeah, at Kendrick Dean, at K E N D R I C K D E A N I G, Twitter. I'm not as active on Twitter. I'm right, active right. on IG and Facebook. Right on. Um. Yeah, that's that's where you can find me. Nice, you know what I mean. And um, part two, can we come do it from the offices at Facebook? Oh, I don't know about all that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we ain't that yeah, tight. We gotta get yeah. special clearance for that. <laughs> you have not because you asked not. Hey, I there it is. I love it. I love it. Put it out. Where can they find you, Jay? <laughs> Just Johnny Vaughn. J U S T J O N Y V A N on all your favorite social medias. But of course, lifeonpodcast.com. You can track all of my stuff down right there. Yeah, man, that's our hub. And of course, I'm on Instagram at Stone Letter O Letter O Seven. I say it like that because on Twitter, I'm at Stone Zero Zero Seven. So if you guys jumped in this late, don't worry. This podcast will be up. You'll be able to check it out on YouTube or any of your favorite platforms. And like I said, just go to lifeonpodcast.com. We keep the last 10 up there so you can binge all you want. Kendrick, to say that it was a pleasure truly is an understatement, my man. Seriously, I love you, brother. And we're going to stay more in touch than we have. Yeah. We really are because, uh, I mean, not only do you feed me wisdom-wise, but you feed me energy and spiritual-wise, mm -hmm. man. So I want to make sure that, that that keeps on so that good feeds good, iron sharpens iron. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Yes. Anything you got? Yeah. Um, do all of everything that he just said, and we're going to work on getting your new football team. That's nah, we not, that's not happening. <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> Miami <laughs> Eagles. Something nah, like that. Right. Yeah, hybrid. <laughs> Yo, thanks y'all for joining live. Uh, we're still going to work on this whole tech side of things, make it smoother. But uh, Stars going to clash right now. Yeah. So thanks for joining us live. And uh, shoot, check us out. And we love y'all for joining. Tell a friend. Subscribe. Peace out. Peace out. So back to what I was saying. <laughs>